What's up guys, Peter Annie here. In this video I will show how we're going to be able to grab a ball and throw it. We're also going to be able to grab this ball only if it's close to us. For this tutorial I'll continue from the previous one, how to grab a ball and release. So I recommend it to watch, I'll leave it in the description below and the cards on the top there. So if you haven't done so already, I recommend you to watch that first and then come to this one. And if you're enjoying these videos, please leave a like and subscribe. I want to bring more tutorials like this, so let's go! Okay guys, so in this tutorial what we want to do, we want to be able to grab this ball and throw it. Now just put it back the way it is now. So, for this, what we need to do is first we need to... Um, remember the previous tutorial, I set this to trigger. Uh, we don't want this anymore. And, be, and we also want to add a rigid body to our ball. After adding those components, uh, we have here the rigid body and we check the trigger. You can see now our ball is live. You can see now it's falling on the floor. But we have a problem. If we grab, look what happens. See, we don't want that to happen. So for this, we need to go to the player script. We're going to do a few edits. So just open it. So in the player grab script, what we need to do, we need to get those, those components from the ball, the collider and the ridge body. So first, we get a variable collider. Let's see, ball collider ball call then just for short and we need the ridge body of the ball as well so ridge body ball rb okay so now we need to get those components so we come here ball collider dot ball, uh, equals ball dot get component so we need to get this component from the ball is sphere collider it's, yeah is sphere collider yes this one and now we need to get the rigid body from the ball. So ball RV equals ball dot get component. So we need rigid body. Yep. All right. Perfect. Just save it. So here and the update the instructions we gave to grab and release the ball. What we need to do first. That's why I got the sphere collider. I want to disable the the, the collision between I want to set this trigger so I come here so ball ball collider dot um, this trigger equals true because I don't want that that thing to happen so if I do this and I go back to unity so now when I go back to unity and I hit play so I look at the ball if I grab the ball you see the ball now okay the trigger is false the, the ball fell off the floor but you can see now I don't have that problem problem anymore. So this is good. Back to our script, I want also to uh, disable the gravity because I want to, the ball to be able to be in a, on our hands. So for this, that's why I, I got the ridge body. So for this, we call the ball RB. Ball RB dot use gravity. We set to false. So if we go back to Unity and hit play you see now our ball is now not falling anymore you see okay now we grab the ball no problem but we want to also to release the ball so for this um, we don't need more this vector three ball position because we're not going to put it back in that position we want we want to be able to throw this ball so first, when we release the ball, what we need, we want to set everything to true. So we want to, there's a ball collider dot is trigger. We want to set it to false because then now the, the ball is going to be able to interact with the floor again. And we want to set the gravity to true now. So ball RB dot use gravity equals true. So now, yeah, when we release the ball, the ball will be able to... Um, interact and we'll have the gravity and everything again. That's why we need to, to throw, so it needs a gravity if we, try, if we want to throw an object. Great. One more thing, just uh, delete this ball position as we're not using anymore. Uh, was the vector tree we created in the previous tutorial. So, okay, so what we need now, we want to throw the ball in the direction we are looking at. Okay, so for this, what we need, the camera. So we need to create a variable, let's say camera, uh, we'll call it cam. All right, 
Now we need to grab the camera component. So cam equals get component uh, in children and camera. So this way we're getting the we assign the camera to our to this uh, variable we created. Next we want to create a public variable float. So public float, let's say hand power. So it's going to be the the power we want to apply to the ball when we we throw it. Okay. So now we we're ready to apply the force. So what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to ball. So it should be the ball RB actually. So ball RB dot velocity. So this, what we're going to do? This is the interesting part. So we want to throw the ball the direction we are looking at. So first we need the camera. So the variable cam dot transform dot rotation. Sorry, rotation. And we also want um, so the direction. So it's going to be forward. So vector tree dot forward, and we want to apply the force. So times the hand power, the variable we created. That's it. Let's test it. Let's go back to Unity. So here in Unity, we need to add the force. Let's say ten. So let's hit play. And okay, now when we grab the ball, and now we want to throw the ball. Crazy, yeah? But see, we have a problem. When you grab the ball, we still have the velocity. So a good way to solve this problem is go back to the script here. And here we want, when we grab the ball, we want to set this velocity to zero. So ball RB dot velocity, yeah? equals vector tree dot zero. All right. I think that might solve the problem. So let's go back to Unity and see how it goes. So OK. Now we grab the ball, we throw the ball, if we grab again, see the ball is in our hand again. It's not moving again anymore. Great. But it's kind of weird because the ball is far away, we'd be able to grab. So what I want to do now, I want to be able to grab this ball only if the, gra is, if the ball is beside us. It's like uh, close to our hand because that's how it should be. You know, uh, in the real life, that's how it works. So great. We, now we have this ball. We can release the ball. If, you, if we change the force here, we can um, throw it longer. Let's say 20. Yeah. Um, if we go back and test and if we throw the ball now, see? And I can always grab the ball again. But we want now to be able to grab only if the ball is beside us. So how are we going to do it? It's very simple. OK, we need to go to my hand here. Because this is going to be um, the thing we're going to use to activate our function to, to, to functionality to, to grab the ball. So here I'll add um, a box collider. So here. And, but what we need to do is set it to trigger and just uh, get a little bit down here because um, I don't want this to get in front of the, the camera because then we won't be able to interact again. We want to kind of like, I think kind of like this will be okay. And I would be stretch a little. No, not this side. Maybe at the bottom. Here. Yeah, that way. So if, if um, the ball is like, is triggered with this box collider, we will be able to grab the ball. So this is good because then we we'll only be able to grab objects that are near close to us. So not the objects in the other side of the room or anything. So yeah, now we have to add a script. Let's say grab, just grab, yeah. Oh, actually I already have player grab but not player grab. We need to create another script. Let's remove component, come here to project. So let's create C sharp script called grab. So I add grab to, to my hand. And let's open. Okay, so here in our, on our script, um, I need a public bow can grab. So this is going to allow us to, to grab or not to grab the ball. So here we delete the start method and update method as well. 
So what we need here, we need uh, void on trigger, on trigger enter, and on trigger exit. So so public, actually we need public void, um, because we're gonna we need to access. So on trigger exit. So I just change here to private to public. And here, okay, great. So in here, what we need is we need to compare the tag. So if um, other yeah dot game object dot compare tag. If this is ball, yeah, the object we want to 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 be able to grab, we um, can grab equals true. So if we if we trigger with this object, actually we need to set it false first here on top. So if we trigger this object, it means this object is beside us, we'll be able to grab. Otherwise, can grab equals false. Perfect. So here also I want to add uh, just a debug.log. Dot log just to show you guys. So can grab, I can grab, grab, and here I will print, I can't grab, I cannot grab. All right, now we are back to Unity and we need to give a tag to the ball. So we come here to the ball, yep. Yeah. So tag, add tag, we let's add the tag ball and come back to the ball and just simply fall here yeah perfect now we have the, the script here we need to go back to our player script here on our player script we need to add another condition here and it's it's not in my hands yeah if the ball is not in my hands and so now we have to get the the, the script the grab script so what we need we have here my hands already so my hand dot get component um, Grab. Yep. So dot. Um, oh, jeez. So dot can grab. So that means is if can grab from uh, th this variable can grab is true. You only need this. We'll be able to grab the ball. Okay. So let's test it. So now back to Unity. We see here. Here I have my hand. And I have the box collider, so I won't be I only be able to grab if the ball triggers with this box collider. Let's test without trigger. So before I could grab the ball anywhere, it's just needed to look at the ball and grab it. But now I can't anymore. See? But now if I grab the ball here and I'll put it closer, see now I can grab. See, I can show you here. I print it. So now I'll be able to grab the ball if I look. Oh, in, in my, it's on my hands, yeah? It's in my hands. So now if I want to release, just throw it. Yeah, perfect. See? Oh, jeez. Um, and let's try again. I'm uh, just going to put it closer. And test again. So now, yeah, the ball falls. And here. I cannot grab, you see, because it's not in contact. But now I can grab, but I also need to look at it. See? Can I grab? Grab. So I grab it. And if I want to throw in the cube, boom. Come here. No, oh, no, it's too far. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will answer. I'll make sure I'll answer all the comments. And see you in the next week's video.